Hey, nice you're watching a new video on my channel. My name is Koen and it's been a while since I uploaded a video, about 6 months ago. Sorry for that, it's not always easy to do YouTube alongside my other work. But YouTube is the place where you can be super creative and make whatever you want. So it's great to see we're still growing after these 6 months. When I started this channel, I never thought we had over 50,000 subscribers already. So thanks a lot, thank you for your support. I'm aiming to make more content and hopefully be back weekly so you can find inspiration here every week, no matter what the video is about. As a thank you, I've been working on a UI kit for Figma. It has over 50 screens, organized layers, a style guide and some dummy content. You can experiment with it and see how a Figma document is structured. I'm also open to feedback so if you buy it to support me, get new inspiration or insights, feel free to give some feedback. If I will update the UI kit, you will get that update for free. I understand it's maybe a big decision to buy such a kit, so I'm giving you a 25% discount. Check out the link in the description if you're curious. Don't forget to use the discount code when you buy. I think you are ready to get inspired with a brand new video. Thanks for being here again and let's start with the video. It's great to be back with a new video. I hope I can inspire you with what we're going to do today, which is trying to improve a dribble shot. It's up to you to judge whether we've improved it or if the old one was maybe even better. Anyway, I'm up for the challenge to improve an existing design based on my perspective, my opinion, how I see it. So it's important to say beforehand that I find this one super cool, super inspiring and definitely not bad. I don't want to criticize it, but rather show that you can always improve your designs. Show it to other people, who knows, you might get new insights. Uh, that's mainly what I'm trying to focus on, so that both the creator as the viewer can think, oh yeah, maybe I hadn't thought of this, or this could be really cool to apply. I hope that this way we can help each other um, improve our work. That would be super cool, so we're going to focus on the screen on the left. Prashant, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, has made a super cool design. Uh, let's take a detailed look at it and then we get back to work uh, to see if we can give it a little twist. So we're going to focus on the left screen. The first thing I notice is the really cool search button at the top. We see discover. I wonder if that's a drop down or if there's a letter after it. I'm not exactly sure what this feature does. Uh, so. Maybe we should leave it out for now. Below that, there's a location. I see other events that have been found. I'm not sure if anything should be there or what it exactly should do. Um, then we see the quick filters. I see a plus sign probably to open more filters or uh, to adjust some things. Then I see the options uh, that are, for example, relevant or maybe the most used. I see events that are nearby, but the text over the image isn't very readable, so hopefully we can improve that. Below that we see the popular task. This stands out quite a bit. Maybe this was done on purpose, I'm not sure. But it definitely stands out because it's white and the rest is pretty dark. I think it's more about the events than the people I see here, so maybe we can make those a bit subtler um, and make the event card bigger. I also see the navigation items, but I'm not exactly sure what they mean. So I need to take a look at it and figure out uh, what I can make of it that fits well. Um, I also think it's good to apply the status and home indicator if this is for an iPhone screen. I think especially important to combine the filter and the search at the top uh, of the screen. Furthermore, I think this has uh, a really cool element uh, and the app looks really good. Uh, so I don't think there is need to be very big changes, but I hope to give you an idea of, hey, this could be cool. So let's get to work.
I hope you enjoyed this speed art because I sped it up so you can see a lot of elements being built in a short time. Maybe you're thinking hey I might have done this differently or you're thinking ah maybe you could have done it like this. Well that's actually what I hope that you have been inspired. And that's exactly the intention. Uh, I hope you didn't skip straight to this part to see what the result is but if you did that's totally fine. First of all, I have to say the draft search button, I had to keep it. It's a super cool element to see. It really stands out, super cool to keep that one. Also, I used this cover purely as a title uh, with the filters right below it. So you have the search and the filters in one place where you can really uh, easily and quickly access them. The current names take up quite a bit of space in my opinion so I made it a bit more compact below that I put the location I think that can also be opened that map that I saw on the other screen so I think that's a nice combination to put them together um, after that I made the event card a little bit bigger uh, I adjusted the indication so now you can see uh, a bit of the other event on the screen so that's indicating that you can scroll or swipe whatever um, I simply placed the text in the background uh, below the card uh, making it a, a bit more readable and the images stand out well I made the popular task um, a little bit smaller uh, I can see the bookmark and more thing on the left side uh, I left those out uh, they could possibly replace the three dots uh, that are there uh, when you can click on them and you go to the profile or something um, and I've also adjusted the navigation a bit with some bigger icons and a label below making it clear what you're clicking on as a user I'm also very curious what you think of the definers I've added they have a kind of a glow effect uh, which I thought was super cool to apply in this redesign uh, please let me know what you think about this result do you want to see more videos like this or maybe you want your work uh, redesigned by me uh, let me know in the comments or send me a message on instagram you will find all the links in the description uh, and i hope to see you again in a new video with some new inspiration haven't subscribed yet do it quickly and then i will see you in the next video bye